file management. If you're going to do this type of recordings as part of your preparation, it is a good idea to consider the file size of your files. When you record videos and you work with video, normally the file size of your files are going to be larger than other files like audio files or images and things like that. So it is important for you to know that this is going to be the case for you and for you to prepare a folder that will capture all of the files in your production in a single place. When you're using a PC, the type of files that you're going to obtain after your recording look like this one and they're going to have an extension called CamRec. In the same way, whenever you save project files in a PC, it will have this icon and it will have the extension CamPro. Whenever you edit these type of files, it could be the video recording files or any other video files, audio files or image files that you bring into your production, when you edit them and you paste them together in your editing program in Camtasia, all of those edits are going to be kept in this file. So basically this file only contains information about how you edited these media. So as you move forward, you're going to be doing different changes to your file and those changes are going to be recorded in this CamProg file over here. So this file will never really go beyond 10 megabytes. It will be fairly small in comparison to your video recordings or any other file that you might be using in your production. If you're recording on a Mac, the icon that you are going to see looks like this. The extension is a track extension and the project file is going to look like this one over here with this extension. And the story is the same. Whatever edits you do to these media in order to put them together for a final production, all of those edits, the information about the edits are going to be held in the CamPro file and then the media is going to remain untouched. And by that I mean the media is going to remain in its original format no matter what edits you do over here. So it is important to know how all of these files work together. And it is mostly important that whenever you make a recording and you start doing some edits that you are sure that you record a CamProc file so all of your editing processes and editing information is kept and it can be applied next time around that you start working on that project again. Very well. Finally, since you're going to be working with very large files, I recommend being very organized when it comes to your folders. That is, create a folder for all the individual lessons, create a folder for all the original media files, create a folder for, for the PowerPoint files, etc. Um, but a good folder organization is going to take you a long way when you are done recording and it is the time of production.